I tell you, today's story of 9-11, what is 9-11? 9-11 is really a historical death in the annals of history, not only that of Pakistan, not only that of Afghanistan, not only that of United States, not only that of the Americans, but for the world. It has changed the geopolitical history of the world. It was the night. It was the next day of 9-11, in the evening of 9-11, when George Bush called the president of Pakistan, hello, Mr. Musharraf, I'm saying you, General Musharraf, I say you, I give you two conditions. Either to support the U.S. and its policies and attempt against Afghanistan or be ready to go to the Stone Age. Then Bush said, those were the coward people, those were the coward people who take the democracy of U.S. in the dead hours of night. We call them cowards. They pity Osama bin Laden. They pity anyone else. They have attacked the democracy of U.S. They have attacked the Twin Towers and Defense Ministry World Trade Center. We'll not let them go. We'll bring them to work. Then, for the Bashar said, subsequently Pakistan. First of all, Pakistan, we don't want to go to Stone Edge. We have two general policies. We have two, ladies and gentlemen, we have to cooperate with the international community, especially the U.S., because it is a hard time on the international community. Therefore, we have to cooperate with them. And we are chanting slogan of Sabse Pele Pakistan, because if you don't do, then we have to go in the years back. It was story of 9-11 in which it was tough time on international community. So, and lastly, what the Bush said, he said, those who take the U.S., they are the coward people. They will not let them go, the coward people. And, and not only this, but we want to bring